What up? So welcome to uh, part two of Dante uh, breakdown, and uh, let's talk about Dante itself. The, what uh, what makes up the Dante network? What do you need? You know, so you've got some interfaces. They're Dante ready. They came with Dante interface, or you added one on. Um, they're ready to be plugged in to like a network switch or to a computer. So you got one plug right in the computer. Good to go. What else do you need? Dante Virtual Sound Card and a Dante Controller. Two small apps available from a company called Audinate, uh, which uh, you can get them for like not very much money at all. I think it was like $30, $50 or something like that. So let's have a look at what they are and put away the Ninja Turtles. Check out the new season, the reboot thingy, and uh, you'll hear me play in episode four. Well, shameless plug on my guitar soloing in place of a bear robot. Um, this is Dante Virtual Sound Card. A uh, little app just runs. Uh, you can choose, we won't fuss with turning it off and stuff, but uh, choose uh, like, you know, from eight by eight to like 64 by 64 or something like that. Um, I don't need that many. Um, latency four, six, 10 or something like that. Uh, your choices a lot of chatter comes out of that nonsense right there it's not a real world setting it's not your actual setting i think it's like the baseline whatever it's where a lot of people's you know thoughts come from i see a lot of talk well i don't see much talk about dante online at all but what i do see uh revolves around latency and a lot of times people go to that four millisecond thing and they're like ah four milliseconds man dante first of all four milliseconds latency is is not bad uh, all things considered, if you've got, you know, don't have like a bunch of lame plugins that add latency and stuff. Like if you're actually a four real world, you know, end to end, uh, four milliseconds latency, uh, that's not bad at all. Give me a break. Um, unless you're like a drummer, you know, with experience. But anyway, so this is the thing that shows up everywhere in your apps. Like digital performer is what I use because it's awesome and so stable. Um, and if I go one of these channels, I'll show you what the inputs look like. So yeah, just like anything else, you've got 32, as I just saw, you saw me set 32 inputs and those are managed what those are. Um, so this is my sound card, my interface that I chose like in hardware setup, you know, the DVS. And uh, those 32 are managed with the Dante controller make that nice and big and so that may look confusing but it's really not so across the top you have transmitters all your three my three devices the uh rml the focus the personas the focus right and the mac the imac and same thing over here three devices so the three devices receiving the three devices transmitting anything that transmits can go any to anything that receives um, of something that transmits can go to multiple many things that receive I mean, how dope is that? Um, you could send, say a dude comes in, he's like, could I just sit my laptop over here and like, you throw me like a feed of this stuff and I take it home? Uh, well, let me see, click, click, sure. Plug it into that network jack right there and look for this and you're good to go. Um, how easy was that? So uh, that m multiple headphone mixes, etc., like all that is so easy and possible. So, like for here we have the RML transmitting to the iMac. So here's your first 16 inputs off the RML. Uh, a little aux thingy that I'm goofing around with while doing headphone and stuff. Uh, the rest of the RML. Go over to the focus right and there's uh, eight of those or seven of those or whatever I bothered to click. Um, and then coming back from the iMac, the mains, to the red four pre for the monitors, etc. It's like so easy. It's all right here. So there's that, there's device info up there on those guys too. You can see what their IPs on the network. You can see who's with a master clock. You set a preferred master for your clocking. Mine's the focus right. I uh, see your network status, et cetera. Good to go. Um, these top plus and minuses do like the whole shebang at one time, easy peasy, or these just do a little bit. Uh, and that's that. And the other thing is the network switch, which for me was $50 off eBay, Cisco SG200. Uh, plug your things into that. There's two settings that you need to make uh, within the router settings. It's well documented online. Easy to look up. You just look like SG200 and Dante and there it is. Um, uh, this is just a switch. If you get an SG300, it's a switch and a router. A router 
tell of all these things what their addresses are on the network, which is necessary. So I just plugged in an old Apple Airport because I read online that you could do that. Um, plugged it into the switch, bada bing, bada boom, this thing. I don't even know why I said that. I never say that. Uh, plug that in like magic. It gives everything an address and uh, it's perfect. So that's as much setup as I had to do. That's the Dante network that I have. Uh, two devices, uh, DVS, Dante controller, uh, one little switch, and I have no Dante accelerator card. I don't need one. Uh, like I said, uh, my real world uh, latencies have been, uh, they're, they're like three milliseconds. Uh, so that's, that's pretty nice. Um, I don't have any kind of problem with that at all. Um, and uh, if people need, uh, you know, zero latency, these interfaces, as I'll cover in the interfaces video, uh, to come, coming up, I will explain and show you. You can just monitor right off of them. You know, you don't need to go through the system. But if you want to go through the system, you can. Three milliseconds is not bad, y'all. So that's the uh, Dante system and uh, the Dante specific parts of it, the Dante network, etc. Uh, coming up, we'll check out stuff about the audio devices and some performance chatter.